Hey guys, it's Finn for The Bear Gentleman and today we are talking about camera bumps and whether or not you should get a protector for the back of them. And to keep it short, I definitely think you should get one. The reason being is that these camera bumps, especially on the S20 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra, they're so huge, that's a lot of surface area. And really all it takes is one little accident to go ahead and ruin these. And these are very expensive to replace if you did have to go ahead and do it. And a camera protector is like just a couple bucks. Uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. All I would say is that whenever you do get one, make sure it has the proper cutouts. Like for the S20 Ultra, it should have a cutout for this little mic over here on the back so it doesn't affect your audio quality. And this is my personal S20 Ultra and you can see that it has a bunch of scratches and stuff on the protector over here. And this protector has saved me countless number of times. I also wanted to say if you do have a Note 20 Ultra, they went ahead, they kind of improved the design of this camera bump on the back here. Let me take it out of its case. Uh, they gave it a bit more of a lip to go ahead and uh, make sure it's not sitting exactly on the glass part of it. But again, that's a lot of surface area and all it takes is one bad drop to go ahead and crack it. And I especially remember whenever this phone came out, a lot of people were complaining that they had cracked the back glass. So again, just getting a simple cheap camera protector would go ahead and help out a lot. In addition to that, I also think you should make sure whatever case you have on it has kind of like a raised edge around the camera pump to help give you that little bit more protection. Uh, you can see that this one, actually this one's from Samsung, but it does not cover the additional glass that it put on, which is again why it has more scratches and whatnot. Uh, my wife's also has a raised edge, but you can see that her camera bump has no scratches on it whatsoever. So that raised edge definitely helps. Uh, for example, I have another case here. This one has no raised edge whatsoever, and that camera bump sticks out a little bit. And in those type of cases, you definitely need a lens protector. But my thing is, even if you do have that raised edge, there's no guarantee that if you were to drop it, that something wouldn't be sticking out that could go ahead and mess up the back glass. But a lot of people are worried that it might ruin your image quality or video quality or focusing, especially uh, focusing on this phone because this phone had issues with that in the beginning. But I'll show you some video samples and photo samples and you can see that it doesn't really affect anything that much. Uh, nothing noticeable anyways. So you do not have to worry if you get a camera lens protector that it would hurt your image quality. And the last thing I will say is that if you do get one of these, make sure that you take your time when it comes to apply it. Make sure that you don't get any smudges or any lint trapped behind there because that could affect your image quality. And make sure it lines up properly with the cutouts. And again, I do not do sponsored videos, but this is the one that I'm using off of Amazon. If you guys want to use this specific one, I'll leave a link down below. But that's it for today, guys. If you guys got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. If you like this video or found it helpful, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time.